So my name is Julia Edin. I'm from Norway and I'm 32 years old. Uh, I have Crohn's disease and I also have uh, IBS on top of that. Uh, I have Crohn's disease for nine years now and it's been um, quite a roller coaster. It's been up and down for all those nine years. Um, yeah, I came across uh, the IB doc test um, uh, through my doctor and I was probably one of the first patients that uh, started using it uh, about one year ago and uh, for me it's been um, a really big help to control my disease and me feeling in control over my disease and uh, um, actually seeing the results so whenever I'm insecure about whatever if I may, I don't know, if I have stomach ache or if I feel bad for a period of time, then I can actually test and get results right away instead of having to wait for the doctor's result or first of all, a doctor appointment and then a doctor do the tests and then the result comes back three weeks later. And now I can instead just get the results right away and feel either secure that it's nothing dangerous or I can get in contact right away with the doctor and get medical help. Uh, so for me it's been uh, really great, um, I, feel, I feel that I have a tool that makes me have more control over the situation, which is really important. Um, also I think that since I have IBS and sometimes the symptoms from IBD and IBS could be quite similar, it also could calm me down that this is not a fact, the Crohn's disease acting up again. Um, I have, like for the first half year that I used IBDoc, I think all my results were good. It was continuously low and everything was perfect. And then I had the bad period where it suddenly peaked. And for me that was, um, in a weird sense, it was quite confirming to see that the test actually showed the same thing that I, uh, as I felt. I felt I was getting worse and uh, I could see it immediately on the test. And then I could contact my doctor, or he already saw it and actually called me up and saying, hey, you should come in for a check. And um, for that to go that fast and that easy, it was really good. Um, I think for, it helped me a lot to get the treatment and the, to calm my nerves, basically, and stress down, knowing that the situation got under control a lot faster than it would if I had gone the regular way through the doctors. Um, and when it comes to the stress factor of getting sick, I think that just makes you sicker. So to eliminate the stress factor is really important as well. Um, yeah. How did you feel using the IB doc? Did you feel it's, it's, it's uh, straightforward? Or? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of, kind of a curious person, so I, of course, know how to use a smartphone and apps and all of that, so that part was not a problem. Um, the first couple of times I used IBDoc, I probably should have watched the training video that they sent me and I should have you know, read the instructions a bit more carefully. Uh, I thought I was doing it right, um, but then it turned out that I should probably you know, put a little more, a bit more fluid onto it. Uh, so now I do it the correct way, it just had to be told to me one more time. Um, yeah, I would, I'm, I could be a little too eager sometimes to try out new things, so maybe I skip a couple of steps. Uh, but even then, I think it was easy to use. Yeah. yeah. So good training is, is really important. Yeah, I think it's really important, but it's not that hard. I mean, it was just the one simple explanation that I should put enough fluid for it to reach the first T letter. And that's the only thing that I was missing. I just had a little bit too little of the fluid. Um, other than that, it's really easy to use. Um, uh, I did have trouble with the app one time, um, but what was really nice is that I could still log on to uh, the online site and find all my results there. So even though, you know, if, if you change your phone or whatever it is, you still have the results online, which I really liked. Uh, also because then you can take it to your regular doctor instead of the spe specialist so you can you know uh, get everybody up to date basically and not just your specialist so yeah do you think that um, using IVDoc changed 
or is going to change the relationship with your doctor, the way you communicate maybe? Yes, and hopefully no. <laughs> yes, I hope it will change in the fact that um, I don't have to go for regular checkups that often. Or for me, like I live outside of Oslo city. So for me to actually take a stool sample at home, go all the way to Luisenberg Hospital in Oslo, it takes me about 40, 45 minutes, and then leave the sample there, uh, maybe have a doctor's appointment at the same time, sometimes not and then going all the way back home could be exhausting, it takes a lot of time. Um, so in this way I could, uh, with IBDoc, I can, you know, just send in the results from my own uh, phone and from my own home. Um, but at the same time I hope that whenever something is wrong or whenever I do feel um, insecure or the test results are not good and I of course hope that he will be there and that they will the doctors the team will be ready to help me so yes I hope that the relationship changed and like that I don't have to see them as often but at the same time I hope they will be even more eager to help if something if there is something and if I really need it and I felt that like of course I have a close relationship with my doctor right now and he called me right away when he saw that uh, I had the peak, um, which was really high compared to what I normally have. Um, so for that part, I felt really, really secure about it. I felt like, yeah, they're standing by, you know, waiting for for this to happen, basically. Yeah. So you think like um, going forward, your your relationship or like your treatment will be a bit more flexible, like when. Um, when everything is fine, you would stay away because yeah. you, you don't need really to go and see the doctor. Yeah. But then when there is, a, let's say, a, a red flag race, then you, you would go, so you would become more flexible, you yeah. would have a bit more free. Yeah, I mean, yeah, absolutely. And uh, I've been, I don't know, every second month I have to go to the hospital or I have had to go to the hospital uh, doing either blood uh, samples uh, or de delivering the stool sample. Um, and of course I've, I've been an active person, I've been traveling a lot, I've been in and out of the country and to always be there at one certain date every second month is kind of um, frustrating to have to plan around the doctor's visit all the time. So this makes me more flexible in a way. Um, so yeah, it changes, uh, it changes a lot. Um, I mean, my Crohn's disease is, as I said, very like up and down. So in those good periods, of course, you really don't want to stay more with the doctors and the hospitals than you need to. It would be perfect to just stay away <laughs> from them all. So this also gives you the help to, to do that, to be healthy in those healthy situations and just enjoy them, but still have the comfort in knowing that you can test yourself and get the result that you uh, hope for, hopefully. Um, and then if there is something, if something changes, then you can always come back to them. There's a lot of people with IBS and IBD. Um, it's a big focus right now. And I think that everything that can help them to basically just calm their nerves about it, uh, be less stressed about it, and feel more in control of their situation, uh, whatever that is, it's, uh, it's really good. And I think this is one of, IBDoc is one of the things that can actually do that. Um, of course, always consult the doctor with it and especially if you're given results that are that you in fact have high cut protecting but um, I still think it's really important I do uh, that it's available yeah